What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, yes, we're going to talk about this 200 meter uh, final here. As uh, So, I want to preface that we had some hen head, um, headwind today, uh, plus 0.2 today. So, I think that slowed down some people's times today. But um, it was still a very good race, though. Like, we knew it was going to be a good race just based on the names. As soon as I saw Jenna Prandini and Shawnee uh, Miller Ubo in here, I knew it was going to be a good race. And then we had other good names like Gabby Thomas was in here, uh, Tamara Clark. We had Tynethia Gaither, uh, Ida Karstoff. So we had a loaded field. We knew the winner was obviously going to be Sharika Jackson. Now, Sharika Jackson, let me go over the times here. Sharika Jackson finishing first. Ain't nobody surprised by that. Uh, we're going to see her in the championships in September uh, for the Diamond League. And she got a 21.84 in this. Nowhere near close to her personal best. But, uh, you know, with the hit win, like I said, that probably slowed everybody down. But uh, she definitely was dominant again. But let me tell you. Well, let, let me go over that. Let me go over the scores and stuff real quick. Then I'll go over how this race went. So, Shawnee Miller Ubo had a 22.35 in second. She just edged out Janet Prandini, who who I thought was going to finish in second. Janet Prandini sometimes in the last 20 meters of her race sometimes slows down a, a bit. And she allows Shawnee Miller Ubo to actually catch up to her. Um, but Janet Prandini still did very well with a 22.39. I wasn't even sure because of how stacked the field was. I wanted Janet Prandini to finish on the podium, to finish in the top three. But I was not sure if she was going to do it, and she did it. I think she's got some confidence from the World Championships um, in that relay because I saw this is one of the better runs I've seen her run in her Diamond League career. Uh, this was uh, this was also her only Diamond League race, by the way, as well. So um, this was a little bit different. Um, but uh, because she hasn't really been running all year, she's not going to be eligible with the Diamond League points. She got a six qualification points today but uh because uh she hasn't been on the diamond league that much she will not be able to be in the championship so uh i hope jenna runs a lot more in the diamond league next year i don't know why she hasn't taken as many races this year for whatever reason um like she usually does i don't know if she's uh slowing down a little bit where she doesn't want to run as much but uh, i haven't seen jenna run too many races televised races this year um like we normally see but uh, let me go through the rest of the list here tania gaither just missed the top three with a 22.70 i thought she had a pretty good bounce back from the worlds i had a car stuff right behind her with a 22.80 tamara clark with the dead legs at a 22.82 now that was impressive for tamara clark because she has dead legs right now but if she did not have dead legs i think she would have finished in fourth uh or right there with jenna prandini because She's someone next season that you need to really watch out for. I think she's going to be a bigger name next year because people are going to see her at, at, at full strength. And she's going to finish a lot of races in the top three, top four. So people, a lot of people are going to notice her in the future. Now, this is where I, I had a lot of my questions coming in. Is Gabby Thomas still kind of hurt? Now, she had a 22.86. She finished in seventh. That's way below her standards. Um, I think she's still hurt because her personal best all time is a 21.61. I think she's hurt. Uh, that's my early guess. I, I think she's still hurt a little bit. I don't because this is definitely not the way she runs. I think she's battling right now, just trying to finish the season up as best as she can. But uh, we'll see if she comes out fresh uh, next season. And rounding out the list was Chris, uh, Chris uh, Victoria uh, Christina uh, Rosa, who from Brazil, who finished at twenty two point eighty nine. And hometown hero Nicola Horisca finished with a twenty two point forty four. Um, and dead last. So she was the only runner to finish, to not finish under the 23 flat. But back to Sharika Jackson, man, it was just dominance in the last 50 meters. But like I was telling y'all before, if you watch this race, Jenna Prandini was 1 2 with Sharika the first, I would say the first 100, the first 120 to 130 meters in the race. She was in lockstep with Sharika Jackson. Like right there, it looked like the relays again. So, uh, you know, she was in lockstep with her. Shawnee, like I said, Jenna slowed up a little bit. Shawnee Miller Ubo made a late stretch to the end there. Great run, great, great race by her to do that. 
So the Bahamas looked really good today. The Bahamas did a really good job today. I thought Ida Kirstoff had a really good race to finish in fifth. Uh, I didn't know where she was going to finish at in this type of field, but the beat to Mary Clark and Gabby Douglas is, uh, I mean, <laughs> Gabby Douglas, Gabby Thomas, I'm thinking of the gym. It's Gabby Thomas. Uh, that's definitely pretty good. But uh, Sharika Jackson looks in, in mid form. She's she knows how to run this race, and it looks really good. Now I am going to make a video uh, about Abby Steiner, cause cause she had one. Now don't get tricked by that twenty one point eighty four thing. And Sharika Jackson is slow. That was hit when if this was a regular like regular race like we saw at the Worlds, this would have probably been like a 21.60 in my my opinion. She wasn't running too fast to the point where I thought she was going to run another 21.50 or whatever like that, but if Abby Steiner was in this race, I think she would have beat Prandini and Millie Ubo. I think she would have came in second. I think that's going to be a lot of her races in the 200s finishing in second behind Sharika Jackson. I think that's where she's going to be when she's in the Diamond League next year. Um... But go ahead and give this video a like, y'all. Hit that like button for me. Uh, share the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got on this, definitely let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this race. Uh, and uh, if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. But also, uh, big shout out to David Close who gave me that uh, big dono earlier in the week, a $10 dono. I really appreciate it, fam. Uh, you could get, I think on Google, they allow, they allow you to do $2, $5, $10 donations. If it's easier for you to give anything on the Cash App, I have the Cash App on the screen right here. Uh, it's uh, dollar sign, sack exchange. So if you want to send a donation there, that one will help me even more because I get that money directly. I have to actually wait for the Google money to come through when I get it, when you get the payment. So that one will help me even more. But uh, finishing this video up. Um, a uh, big shout out to uh, Indian Sports. He actually covered um, the whole Diamond League and covered this race as well. Um, I wanted to shout him out because he also shot me out in his video. Trying to shout out each other. I'm trying to get him to 1K uh, as fast as possible so he can monetize his videos, man. Uh, definitely going ahead and support him. Subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, big shout out to him. He makes great videos. Actually, the last Abby Steiner video I made about the most viewed uh, athlete this summer on social media uh, was because of a video it was an inspiration to the video that he did so um, he does really good videos man uh, if there's anybody track and field channel that I'm watching it's definitely his man like because I love the unique videos that he makes it's, it's different from everybody else's man because he'll give a different perspective he did a good auto bowling one talking about how to improve track and field so definitely go check out his channel man salute to uh, Indian Sports man you gonna get the one you going to get the 1k within another week or two i guarantee you you going to get you going to get there or at least by the end of the month at least by the end of the month you're going to get the 1k fella very good race from prandini i thought prandini was the one that i was hoping got in the top 3 because i wanted her uh, i wanted to see her do like tt terry last week continue her momentum from the worlds i think she accomplished that and um, she looked really good here. She should have finished in second, to be honest, but because she, like I said, I think she took her foot off the gas, but it was still very impressive. And Sean, how about Sean, Sean A. Miller Ubo coming from the 400 to the 200, doing what she did today? Big hats off to her. And one more time for Ida Kirstoff. I thought that, that this was a really good race from Ida Kirstoff. I think she's someone. If she could get a little stronger in her legs, she could finish a little higher than this. Like, I think she's very similar to Prandini to me. I think she can run a little faster than what she does. But this is a nice, good race from her. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to make that Abby Steiner video. Uh, look, it, it should, that one should definitely be up in the morning because I'm, I'm definitely going to put that one up tonight. That's going to be my next Abby Steiner video. So that's definitely going to be up there, man. But uh, thank you all for watching, man. I'll see y'all in the Shelly and Fraser Price video. Thank you for watching. After news, delight.